guys, thanks for joining me for another Barbie review and today we're going to be checking out the Barbie convertible and this is the remote control version. It's super awesome and super styly and it's totally pink to boot and if you love this and want to pick it up it's available from all good toy stockers. I picked my one up from Farmers and it currently retails for $79.99 but they had 25% off so I got it for $60 and I can't wait to get this out of the box and play with it. And if you're also going to get this, remember that it doesn't come with batteries. So you'll also need to pick up some of those at the same time. And not only is it radio controlled, it has real working headlights. And it's great for all ages starting from 3 years and up. And the battery information can be found on the bottom of the box. And you'll need 5 AA batteries for the car. And 2 AA batteries for the controller. And before I drive it out of the box, I'll give you a quick tour of the packaging. And it features simple RC forward, reverse and turn functions. It fits your Barbie dolls, which aren't included. This one here is just cardboard. And as I mentioned earlier, it features real working headlights. And on the back of the box we have this great picture of our convertible. And it's all decked out in Barbie pink. And I've just gone ahead and taken Barbie's very sporty convertible out of the box. And as you can see it's just gorgeous. And the first thing we're going to need to do is put in the batteries. And you're going to need 5 of these AA batteries for the car and 2 AAA batteries for the remote. And to open up the battery compartment you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. And once we've placed all 5 batteries in we can put the cover back on. And we're going to repeat the process by doing the same with the controller. Now that the batteries are in we can turn the switch to on. And we're all set to go. And now that our convertible is out of the box, let's rev it up and take a closer look at it. And this is a really sporty convertible and it's also supercharged. It's also been stylized and we have the Barbie B logo there on the bonnet. And this is done in a nice metallic silver. We have a black grille which says Barbie there in the center. We also have the headlights there on each side and as I showed you earlier these light up. And down each side of the car we have this decal which is all glittery. It's also done in a metallic silver and yellow and it says Barbie there at the bottom. And we have the Barbie silhouette there on the back. And the wheels at the front are free spinning. Where the ones at the back are attached to a motor. And underneath the car we have this tiny little wheel there at the front and this helps it turn. And attached to each of the doors we have our side mirrors. And at the rear of the vehicle we have our tail lights and we also have a Barbie number plate. And not forgetting our spoiler there on the top which makes it look super sporty. And the interior of the car is really cool and check out these pink seats. And there's room for both Barbie and Ken. We also have the steering wheel and this is a left hand drive which is very common in America but here in New Zealand we have the steering wheel on this side of the car and we also have the gear shift there as well in the centre. And now for the fun part let's take it for a spin and test it out. And this is the controller that comes included and it's in the shape of a steering wheel. We have two buttons on it so it's very simple operation. We have this one here which is the forward button and this one here is the back and it also turns at the same time. And Barbie can take the wheel and sit next to Ken. So let's test it out on the wooden floors as well as the carpet. And one thing to note it doesn't like the shag pile carpet. And Barbie's car seems to go a lot faster on the wooden floors than the carpet itself.
and I'm just testing it outside now on the concrete. It's not advisable, but I just wanted to see how it goes. Now I'm going to see how far it goes before it goes out of range. And it definitely doesn't like the grass. So what do you think guys? Are you going to add this to your Christmas wish list? So comments below and let me know what you think of Barbie's convertible. I personally love it. I love the shape of the car. I think it's really sporty and nice. And I really like how the headlights work. There's plenty of room inside for Barbie as well as Ken. There's a few things I wish it had like a boot that opened. And with the controls I also wish it was easier to turn left and right. And the only way you can do this is by reversing so it's a little bit confusing. But other than that it's fantastic and it's also a great price at $60. I am going to be customising this to make it look a little bit better so I'll be doing that over the Christmas holiday so be sure to check out that video. Anyway guys that was a look at the Barbie remote control convertible. Thank you so much for joining us, love you, stay awesome and I'll catch you tomorrow.